As the presidents and prime ministers fly in, there's none of the atmosphere of reproachfulness towards Britain which marked the Singapore conference two years ago, when Mr Heath was still talking of selling arms to South Africa. But New Zealand's Mr Kirk, who arrived in a rainstorm last night, has set out doggedly to get the support of the conference for a policy which the British government don't favour. As the man who has led the international campaign against France's nuclear tests, he wants the Commonwealth to condemn them for reasons he gave to Peter Snow in an interview today. When the view is precisely the opposite, that public condemnation has the wrong effect and that anyway there's been no fallout from the tests. Mr Kirk is meeting Mr Heath tonight to see how things stand, but he means to press on with strong support from Australia and from African states who've in the past opposed French tests in the Sahara. The Queen, before meeting more of Ottawa citizens today when she walked in the city centre, sent off a reply to President Amin of Uganda's request yesterday for an aircraft and escort to get him to Ottawa. She confirmed she couldn't spare an aircraft, but would be happy to give him dinner if he could make it. <laughs>